best part of what I just saw is I had like a spy cam on Coach Sweeney the whole time, seeing all of his reactions and hiding his face and laughing. Oh Coach Sweeney gosh. with us now. And Coach, it was fun to watch you take that all in. I know you are so proud of what you guys have been able to build at Clemson and now in your 19th straight bowl appearance uh, with this team that had to go through some adversity this year. What are you going to remember about this season so far? Uh, man, uh, they showed up ready every week. Tough. You know, they really did. Uh, in position to win every single game. Um, just, um, unfortunately, I'm going to remember all these fumbles. Uh, I wish I could forget it. Uh, two first and goals at the one. Uh, four trips inside the 10 at Duke. Get zero points. Um, you know, the... the a game we dominated, I thought, statistically against Florida State and, and uh, sack, fumble, 70-yard score, pick six at NC State, double overtime. I'm going to remember all that bad stuff. Uh, unfortunately, as a coach, that's what sticks with you. But the good stuff is this was a team that showed up. They just kept getting up, kept getting up, kept getting up, and they showed up and they competed their butts off and, and truly in position to win every game. We just didn't, um, you know, do what we needed to do and, but what, most of all, how they, how they battled down the stretch, you know, with really probably our least available personnel, uh, probably our two best receivers have been out all year. And, uh, you know, with Antonio's played four games, Cole's been out since game one. Uh, but, man, they found a way. Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, uh, uh, South Carolina. I think our defense is good enough to have played for the whole thing this year. I think th this is a really good group. We're a top 10 defense and and then man to take down four great quarterbacks and Sam Hartman and Drake May and, and uh, uh, Haynes King and Rattler. Uh, I'm proud of them, you know, so they just didn't quit. And I think as a coach, you know, especially in a place like Clemson where there are certainly high expectations and you have a lot of disappointment and things don't go the way you want uh, in this day and age to see kids just get back up, uh, I think it, it's really gratifying to me to see, uh, you know, that grit and to see resilience. Uh, so, you know, we only won eight games this year, but, you know, that's 13 years in a row of eight, eight plus wins and, and only, only Georgia and Alabama and Clemson have that. So that's how hard it is to win. And I'm really proud of this bunch for fighting back uh, we're going to a great bowl game in the Gator Bowl. Got another great matchup uh, with Kentucky. And, uh, you know, look forward to competing with this group one more time. Coach, I know this will be shocking to you, but I want to talk about your offensive line because you made a change. And uh, you, you bring in a new coach in, in, in Matt Luke. Uh, really two-part. Number one, why, why did you think it was time to make a, an adjustment, a change there? And number two, why was Matt Luke or why is Matt Luke the right man for the job? Yeah, well, just, you know, unfortunately, the, the timing and the calendar of college football is so different now than what it used to be uh, because of recruiting and, you know, uh, portal and all this stuff. Uh, so it's just unfortunate that you have to you're kind of forced to do some of these season evaluation type of things, you know, uh, at this time, as opposed to, you know, after the bowl and later on. Uh, but. That's just where we are in college football. And so, you know, uh, after our last game, you know, that, that process started for me and, and uh, you know, had two or three days there to really just kind of evaluate everything as I do every year. And some years you, you stay the course and some years there's tweaks that need to be made. Some years there's some maybe bigger changes that need to be made. It just, it just you know, that's part of what my job is. And, and um, um uh, Coach Ski and I, we had to change at the end. That's something that, that really had been in the work for probably a month or so, something he and I had talked about, and he was really ready to do. Um, and so, but um, the offensive line, you know, position and the leadership of that position was something that I really didn't make a decision on until uh, after the season and after a couple of days of evaluating and just, you know, um, um, felt like it was the, the right time. And, and then uh, reached out to Coach Luke. Uh, he's got an incredible reputation. He's, uh, you know, gets it on on every level. Obviously, he's been a head coach, but he's a longtime offensive line coach, 
Uh, he's coached for some great coaches. He's he's uh, he's recruited a bunch of great players, and um, you know I just felt like the timing was right. And you know, as he told me, he probably wouldn't have gotten back into coaching had it not been this job. So the timing was right for me. The timing was right for him, and we're really excited to to have he and Ashley, uh, you know, join, um, you know, Clemson and, you know, making a change is never easy, but certainly when you, when it's, you know, someone you love and, you know, this is a former player and a, and a captain for me and a guy that, that, that really did a good job, but, uh, you know, in totality, uh, I just felt like a change was needed uh, for those guys in the room and, and for what we need to uh, do to get better. Coach, you've always put out a ton of great players, and this year is no different. Uh, so these guys got a decision to make on whether to enter the draft or come back to school. I'm just curious on what role you play in that and how involved you are in that process. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get too involved in it, honestly, Eddie, until kind of the latter part of it. Uh, Coach McCorvey, who, who EMAC knows well, uh, Coach McCorvey really kind of, handles all the NFL stuff and, and uh, is the liaison with all the scouts. And he does a, he really does an awesome job of, of gathering all the information. And, uh, and then he gets that to me. Uh, and then I meet with these guys and really just, you know, you know, here's, here's where you are. And uh, you know, it's, it's a very simple and Woody, Woody actually takes it another step because he gets, he gets some pretty detailed information from, from guys because at the end of the day, our role is to provide them, you know, with with accurate information that's coming from, you know, the people that that basically they're going to go work for and, and how they view them, not what some TV person says or, or you know, whatever. Um, and so Woody does a great job with that. And and the NFL does a great job with that. <clears throat> and, you know, so they've kind of cleaned it up, too, from a committee sta committee standpoint. It's first round, second round or stay in school. That's really what they what they give them. And uh, so once I get all that information and, and I tell you, that was a positive change in the calendar this year is, uh, you know, they had a dead period after the South Carolina game. That's always kind of been recruiting time. And they made it a dead period um, for the first uh, few days of the week there. So you have an opportunity to meet with your team and, and, and so forth, whether it's guys that are trying to decide if they want to stay at Clemson or guys that want to go pro or whatever. Uh, so you give them the information and then they, they've got to make a decision. And certainly uh, if they want your opinion, you give that to them. Some guys already got their mind made. They don't really, they don't really care what you have to say. Uh, some guys really want, you know, the input. And so our job is to, to give them the information. Uh, and, and then if they need more, you know, a lot of times we can get them on the phone with, with different people to, uh, you know, help them dig a little deeper. Uh, and then, then whatever, whatever they decide, hey, we, we support them and, and uh, help them move forward. Well, Coach, I know during this time, not only are you recruiting, but also you have 15 practices with this last group here, like you said, in 2023, before you play this Kentucky team in the Gator Bowl. What's the biggest emphasis practice-wise for some of your senior players and even some of your younger players? <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll get about 12. We're, we'll get 12 practices, uh, you know, with the nature of our game and, you know, playing on the 29th. And then we've got finals, you know, so we're having to kind of work around that a little bit this week. But we started last night. Uh, so they basically had a week off, kind of open gym. And then last week they had mandatory lifting, running, a couple of skills and drills days where while we were on the road. And then we got back. I mean, we've been gone for a week and a half. And we got back um, – uh, yesterday and had our first practice last night. So, you know, there's a lot of things you're trying to accomplish during this time. It's very valuable. Obviously, we got two new coaches, so that's huge for them to start that process of relationships and getting to know these players, you know, because they're just kind of coming in here. So it's a great opportunity for them from that standpoint. But as far as our team, you know, I think uh, the biggest thing with, with these games, this is outside of the opener, you have more time to get ready for this game than any other game you play. So and I think how you use that time is, is very important. So whether we were in a playoff game or, or we're in the Gator Bowl, uh, you know, this is, this is a, a season of its own. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's very important how you use that time. It's a goal of its own for us. Our goal is to win the closer every single year. 
And so we've got an opportunity to do that this year. We didn't do that last year. But as far as how we how we manage this time, I mean, you're going to you're going to get back to some of the basics, uh, you know, the, the fundamentals, the techniques of, of what you do. Uh, you, you're going to obviously spend um, a lot of time on Kentucky and getting ready to play Kentucky. But you're also going to spend some time, you know, Clemson on Clemson, you know, some good on good because uh, you got to get back. It's a long time to go without playing. So you got to get back and make sure that guys are sharp from a football standpoint, the speed of the game. So, you know, fundamentals, technique, you know, good on good, uh, a lot of Kentucky work. But but then we'll also, you know, we have what we call JV, um, as EMAC knows, and, and we'll create kind of a junior varsity, if you will. And, you know, once practice is over, and we're not we don't we're not on the field a long time this time of year, but but we're we're very focused and efficient in what we do because you've got more time to get ready. But but then we we take what we call JV periods, and we will keep all the guys who haven't played much this year, guys who've redshirted, you know, walk-ons, whatever, uh, and we try to develop our team for next year. And it's it's actually one of my favorite times of the year because you get a chance to see guys you know, that have been running scout looks or maybe just hadn't had many reps on game day, and now they get a chance to go play. And we'll have a couple of scrimmages, um, you know, a lot of individual work with those guys. And this is where some guys really uh, make a big jump, I believe, in, in creating some confidence um, as they and, and some wind in their sails as they go into the offseason in January. Great opportunity for sure to build for the future as you guys get ready for what is coming right now. And coach, just real quick before I let you go, I have like 10 seconds. We saw all those legendary quotes. I know you don't want any of those back. In the past, <laughs> would you take any of those dance moves back? Would I dance this? Uh, oh no, man! You know, those, that, if, if to, to take a dance, that means you know that means you that means you take a moment back. That and means you are great, won. Those are those are great <laughs> moments. So I'll just live with it. Well, we can't we can't wait to see the celebration in the Gator Bowl, Coach. Good luck the rest of the way, and we appreciate the time today. All right, I appreciate you guys. Now take care.